Hey everyone, welcome back. Now in the last video we were working on wiring and we're going to continue doing that in this episode. What I really want to do is get batteries in today and get those wired up and continue fitting our Victron battery monitor and put some more of the buzz bars in into the electrical cabinet and into the battery box. So um, let's kick on with that and see how we get on. Now this is the shunt for the battery monitor that I bought, the Victron battery monitor. But as you can see there's a PCB on the side there. Um, which is quite delicate. It's, you know, it could easily take a knock and break. So what some people do is they put them inside a junction box, but I actually, um, I designed my own one and I just printed it off. Um, it's designed to take the negative cables coming in there and there through conduit. And then there's a hole here for um, the communications cables and the power cables for the um, the monitor itself. So. There's a little cable tie fella on the side there as well to hold the cable in place and then there's a there's a lid that fits on the top there and then that can sit inside the battery box and be well protected from any kind of knocks. And yeah, it's a pretty simple design and I'm surprised that Victron don't sell these separately to be honest or even supply them. Uh, maybe they do and I've missed it but I thought I'd design my own and it turned out pretty well. I also picked up some battery terminals and some heavy cabling and some cable terminals another couple of bus bars and some more uh, cabling to rewire the um, switch panel so we should be able to get a lot done today and hopefully by the end of today we'll be putting things on using the distribution switches and not cable tying the batteries on like those wires. <laughs> now some of you viewers from way back in the day from about a year and a half ago rem might remember when we bought this and it was super cheap because I used it to um, crimp the guard wires and what it's actually used is crimping uh, battery cables so we're going to use that now to crimp this battery lug and then I've got some heat shrink as well to close it off and make it look all pretty so let's do that and we can get it onto the shunt and start laying out the negative side of the electrical systems. And that's what it looks like after it's crimped and then you just slide the heat shrink over it like that and melt will melt the heat shrink will heat will heat that heat shrink up now and that'll be one cable done and that can then pass through here and bolt onto the shunt and um, hopefully these holes are big enough but I didn't check um, yeah they fit fine so that more or less bolts on like this like that that's gonna look really tidy and professional and I'm actually very very happy with that um, so I'll do the other side get this box bolted into place and See how we get on with that. Okay, so the shunt box is fitted. So the shunt is there nicely. The positive, or to the negative um, cables up to the negative bus bar uh, in the battery locker. So you can see I fit one in there nice and comfortable. There's plenty of room for a second. Uh, I'm going to make everything run properly first off one battery. And I've given a huge amount of thought to this battery situation and I think that the best option now is get it running like this and next year I'm just going to I'm going to bite the bullet and I'm going to buy a few um 60 amp hour lithium batteries and have it split across um several lithium batteries and have my setup like that. I'm gonna go lithium. Um just gonna start saving now and spend a year saving kind of a little bit here and there and get my lithium batteries. But yeah, so you can see we've got the positive and the negative bus. The shunt is in place. Um batteries in. I just need to connect up the positive cable now to the battery and then start testing things. So I can test the, the inverter and I can test um wiring up some other small bits and bobs. So yeah, let's Keep going like this, but things are looking cool. Okay, so battery is in place and there's no securing yet. I'll get some battens down on the bottom shelf there and secure that properly. 
before we go anywhere, but um, I put in a battery switch just so I could shut off the main supply, but pretty much everywhere between the battery and that shunt or that um, distribution block is going to be changed anyway, so I just put my switch here just to have it neat and tidy. But um, so the inverter is, so I'll just, uh, so basically yeah, turn that on and then power to the inverter. So that means that, yeah, the everything's set up fine. The shunt is bolted up. Um, what else? Yeah, so I keep saying it, but this is gonna change. But for now, it's fine. All I need to do now is run a cable um, from that distribution point um, up to the electrical cabinet. So pretty much finished in here for now. Um, obviously need to do a few small things, but that's okay for now. And now we can move on to rewiring the distribution panel. So I rewired the distribution panel. Um, it's looking pretty nice. The, all the cabling is new. Um, I need to label each end of these as well so that when we fit it to the distribution block, um, I'll know what they are so I don't have to trace the wires. They go through this conduit, so basically this conduit will be supported on the wall here, uh, or on the bulkhead, and it'll be supported all the way around there, and then it will, ooh, it will break off into its different um, connecting points for the rest of the boat. Uh, I also have this distribution block to go here, or somewhere in here, and this will take the um, positive from the battery, from the main battery box, up into the electrical cabinet, and then I'll have distribution points. Um, one will go to the distribution panel, and the rest then will just be for um, things that I want to be uh, on a different switch panel or anything like that. I just think it would be good to future-proof it, but um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, this is starting to look good. And I also found a hole saw, so I can drill the hole for the Victron um, fella next, so we'll do that next. So I fitted the um, battery monitor here and I left room below it for the heat controls um, we've got a diesel heat to put in as well um, here the VHF is going to live so you can see I've marked that out there's going to be a, probably a shore power switch here if we do fit shore power I'm probably not going to but I don't know we'll see um, it'd be nice to have the shore power running just the uh, water heater um, and then here I can have switches for my bilge pumps and stuff like that so yeah, hopefully I've left enough room on this board for other stuff, um, but I pretty sh I think I have. Worst case, I can mount some gauges somewhere else if I need to, but um, for the most part, this is this is how it's going to look. We now have the shunt fully fitted, and you can see the wire, the two wires at the top of the shunt box. Um, they actually cable tie through those two openings there. Um, I've made this design available on GrabCAD. Um, so I've put a uh, link in the description. So if you have a BMV 712 and you have a shunt that you need a box, um, these are, this is the design that I made. So I'm gonna put that um, available to download if you want to print it off. Um, and then, yeah, so that's it. So yeah, basically I just had to run that wire. See the conduit up there on the top left? So I'm going to run a bit of conduit. Um, I left the conduit in my garage, so I just need to get a bit of fresh stuff. And then I can run the conduit into the battery box a bit better and tidy up all this wiring a bit more. Um, but for now, let's see if the BMV is working and go from there. Okay, I don't know if you can see on my phone, but I'm just going through the setup procedure. So this guy powered on straight away. Um, and now I'm trying to get it to connect to my phone because it'd be easier to um, it'd be easier to configure it. 
and then after that apparently it's very easy to do just reading the instructions and apparently you just run the setup wizard and off it goes so yeah it looks a little bit odd with the, <laughs> the big gap here but I'll put be putting the um, heater control there so it'll be a bit better but uh, it looks pretty cool I'm pretty happy with it okay as with most um, Bluetooth apps and these like fancy things that people try and do it doesn't work at all so I couldn't get it to connect and then it tried to connect and tried to update and then it stopped updating and it kept crashing so the app is crap so I might try and again but to be honest the app is a gimmick in my head um, so I followed the instructions and I've set up the monitor um, you can do volts That's it. so it's got the start battery um, or oh, sorry the house battery start battery which I haven't connected um, amp draw I've got the um, inverter just running now um, idle so that's what it's pulling at idle and then these different things and powers used and charge of the battery I think there are a couple of other things I need to change um, I'm just gonna follow the instructions and try and figure it out but yeah that's another job off the list so next stages of this will be tidy up the wiring uh, I need to start labeling more of these cables um, run a bit of conduit behind the books books there in the bookshelf do some more tidy of the wiring in there um, and just keep going. I also need to start wiring up lights on this side of the boat and running charge um, so I'm gonna put some charging ports in the saloon so I need to start running those cables too um, but yeah I'm gonna keep tipping away but yeah that's pretty cool I like that Okay, so this is where the um, positive and negative are going to go into the electrical cabinet and then these cables are going to run <clears throat> back through there. So there's a conduit to go in here, I just don't have it with me. Um, but I'll run them now and they can, they'll fit through the conduit afterwards, they can just take it out. And then down where that conduit's popping out, down through that hole and down into the electrical cabinet, which is all dark at the moment. But I'll run these cables now. And then I'll show you how it fits. Got to do some more labeling. And that should bring the power from the battery up. And then we can run a cable from that distribution to here. And now I, I know it probably seems like I'm using a lot of different distribution blocks, but in my head, um, I'm going to add things over the years. I know that. So I'd rather not, I'd rather have like room for expansion. So like, you know, different things can be taken off that point. And then there's the spare in here as well that can be used to lift positive um, positive 12 volts as well and negative um, so yeah I'm gonna tidy these up run these cables down into the electrical bob cabinet um, bolt them up and then let's see how that looks and go from there Okay, so we've connected up the distribution panel to the um, distribution block. Now, the plan for kind of tidying up this wiring here is I'm going to put another one of these um, these kind of trunkings vertically. So what that'll do is it'll let me kind of tuck in all the extra wiring and bring all the wiring out nice and neat. But I've actually left a lot of these good a few inches longer. So down the line, if I ever cut these off and I don't want to rewire anything, I'll have a little bit of extra room to do that. So you can see that there is a lot of extra there. So if I put this on the wall here or on the bulkhead here and have a nice trunk and cut um, vertically here, and obviously this needs to be, I need to paint this as well, um, which will be done soon. So, so all this wiring is actually, mark, I'm kind of marking it up. Um, 
the worst thing I have to do is just take this off and paint that and then put it back on. It's not a huge deal. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to put a trunking. I have got some up in my, my garage and I need to collect it. But um, yeah, trunking will tidy up this wiring. This will be bolted to the wall there with P-clips and then the um, wiring will come up back to here like this. A little bit of tidying here to do, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna just button up the last few bits and test test this out, which is really exciting because we'll be able to try things out by switching on these, um, these switches. So yeah, let's give that a go. Okay, so the wiring is pretty much done now. So everything is connected. Um, we have 12 volts at the distribution block here. Um, so there's 12 volts of power there. The distribution panel is, um, yeah, is powered as well. Yeah, so there's power at that. Now it's just a case of testing the cabin lights. So the cabin lights are off. And I haven't tested this yet, so I'm a little bit nervous. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go for it. Uh, 